We have the chaga here in four different states. What it looks like when you get it off the tree, broken into smaller chunks from the freshly harvested chaga, ready to be dried. Dried chaga in nugget size, and then dried chaga in powder. I had a fun day today looking for chaga on the property, and this is what I came back with. And I also have some older chaga here that we harvested earlier. I'm going to show you now how to process this chaga in order to make it into something usable. When you first get chaga off the tree, it's actually quite full of water. It's very moist and you need to dry it first before you can use it. When you first get chaga, it's actually a little bit kind of pliable, which is good. It's easier to work with. If you've had chaga for a while and it's off the tree for a while, it becomes quite hard. So there's two main ways that people use chaga. Um, one in chunks like this and another um, where it's uh, cut up into much smaller, more of a powder and then you use it, when you have the powder, you use it more like a tea. You put it in tea bags or in tea containers or in your coffee filters and you soak boil water and then soak it in the water for about 10 minutes and it makes a nice dark brown liquid. Or you can use these chunks. You need to soak it for longer in a larger pot. Some people do it in a crock pot and then and you do it for a very long time and then you'll also get a nice tea in a larger volume. So first, when you, before you process it, you need to remove any um, pieces of bark from, that might be on the, on the chaga from the tree. So you don't really want that. For this new chaga, I'm just going to cut it up into smaller pieces. You can also use a sharp knife. Now this stuff will be a lot easier to dry and then you'll put it in the coffee grinder and you can make powder. Now if you have left the chaga for too long and it's really solid. It's not really that easy anymore to get slivers off of it. A lot of people go to town and hack it with an ax. There's going to be a lot of shrapnel, so put it in a container like a like a cooler or something like that so you can contain all the shrapnel. Another way is just to shave off like this. It takes a lot longer, but if you don't have a lot to process, but the easiest way, as I said, is with big axe, with shrapnel, cut it into smaller pieces. Um, this, and then once you got it into small enough pieces to fit in your coffee grinder, then you can put in the coffee grinder and make it into a powder. So there you have it. The next step to processing your chaga in order to make tea. The stuff that's new, you gotta dry it first. The stuff that's old, it's already dry. And you can put this right away into your coffee grinder and then into your into your tea and then you can have some wonderful chaga tea. We have the chaga here in four different states. What it looks like when you get it off the tree, broken into smaller chunks from the freshly harvested chaga ready to be dried. Dried chaga in nugget size and then dried chaga in powder. For the powder you take about a tablespoon and put that in hot water just below boiling temperatures and use it like a tea. For the large chunks or nuggets, you, pl you put those in water and simmer for one to eight hours depending on how dark you like the chaga. The powder you can use once, the nuggets you can use two to three times. For the pot method, use about five to six nuggets, which would be about 15 grams in one liter of water and let simmer for one to six hours depending on how strong you want it. These can be reused two to three times.
to brew a single cup of tea, you can take a tablespoon of the powder and place it in a tea infuser like this one and then let it soak in near boiling water until you've reached the desired color concentration. Now let's compare the different brews. First we have the brew made with the powder. It was let to steep for about 10 minutes. And this is the color consistency. And then we have the brew with the nuggets, which was on the wood stove for about four hours. And as you can see here, it has a richer brew. It also has a stronger flavor. Some people like to add sweetener to the tea to make it more palatable. I find it a little bit sweet already, but some people add maple syrup. What might be better would be add birch syrup, keep to the same tree. So there you have it. One tablespoon of powder versus five or six nuggets. A short brew, less rich, less flavorful. A longer brew, more rich, more flavorful. It's not quite dark enough for Dave yet, so I'm going to put it back on the stove. You might want to experiment with what flavors you like, and uh, enjoy your chocolate brew.